Hey there, this is Julian from Storito.com and in this short video I want to explain to you what the Storito Relay app is. So when you are in your Storito account you can connect your Instagram account here or you can even add more connections and then this pop-up gives you two options. Either you can connect from New York or you can use our Storito Relay app. And if you're now uncertain what is A and what is B, then this video is for you. So in general, you can go ahead and connect your Instagram account to Storito with our New York mobile proxies. In the future, we will also add some more locations to this in Europe and the rest of the world. But for now, we have the New York proxies. And for some customers, Instagram doesn't like it if you are like too far away from that. And then it gives you some error messages or it says, yeah, yeah, you're not able to connect. And for the these cases we developed the Storito Relay app and I, you can simply click on this here and it will link you to a help center article and here it's quickly explained what the Storito Relay app is. You can install the Storito Relay app on your Windows, Mac and on your Android phone and it makes your device a proxy server. So you will be able to upload your stories into Storito as you normally would do here in the gallery and so on. And then you can schedule. But once it comes the time to posting, it won't use our New York proxies. It will use your own Storito Relay app for this. The benefits are that the IP is then local where you are based. For example, if you're in Berlin and you normally log into your Instagram account from Berlin, uh, the Storito Relay app will also connect from your device, from Berlin, from your Mac, for example. And then this won't be suspicious to Instagram and the connection is very stable and it's exclusively your own connection, right? So that's good. And that's why we developed this. And I will just quickly explain you what it is. But when you want to set it up for your Windows, Mac or Android, just click here and then there will be also a video and the text explaining you how to do it. Feel free to read through this. I'm on the Mac, so I will show you this on the Mac. But when you click on Windows or Android, there will be also videos showing you how this works. And it's basically the same. So when you are, for example, on the Mac, you first download the Storito Relay app. And once it's downloaded, I will just start installing it. Just put it in the applications folder and have it installed. Yes, and once it is installed, then you can just right click on your dock and then click on options and then open at login. Because as said, your the Relay app needs to be online all the time. And so when you start your Mac, it's good if it's running then directly from the start. Once the app is started, I can start it right now. Then this window will open up and here you will see these IDs. So you can simply copy the ID to your clipboard and then go back to Storito and then you enter the relay ID down here and then we will use the Storito Relay app to connect. So I click on connect from your own location and then you can just uh, go ahead and type in your Instagram handle and your password and then you click connect and then it will automatically connect you from your own server from this ID we just copied. Yeah, once you have done that, you will see the connection here. So for me, I'm based in Germany. I also tested out now the Story to Relay app and I see it's connected. When I click here on test connection, then it gives me a green check mark. So because this computer is on and it is connected to the Wi-Fi, so therefore it will be able to post my Instagram stories for me. If you test, click on test connection and it gives you a cross, then the device is probably offline or not connected to the internet. So please make sure that the uh, device, your Mac or your phone or uh, your Android phone or your PC is always on online. Once we've done that, there's one thing we still need to do. We need to make sure that our computer or our Mac doesn't shut off. Because, yeah, as said, it needs to be online all the time. Therefore, there is a small uh, yeah, extension you can download. Keep your uh, Mac awake here. Then you click on it. Then you can just download it and install it also. And this is here on the top bar. You will see like this small coffee cup. So I can just click on it. Uh, and once it's full, it will be online all the time. So this keeps my Mac running. So when I go home now, this Mac will be running and will be posting my Instagram stories. Yeah, and uh, just a little more things you can do. This also should be started at the login, of course. So you can go to settings 
and click here the check mark start on lock login and activate on launch so when you start your mac it's directly starting this application and but since we want our display to shut off because this is not good for the display then you can click on advance and click on allow the display to sleep so this is allows your display then to to go dark but the mac is still running and will be uh, able to post your stories for you with the story to relay app yeah, this is the whole process. As you see, it's not too complicated. And yeah, I will now make some videos for Windows and Android, how it works. But in general, yeah, you can start with the New York proxy. And if for some reason Instagram gives you gives you a no, then you can start using the Storytel Relay app, either with your Windows, Mac or Android phone.